Hi everybody, Representative Steve Draskowski here today talking about a bill we heard in committee today, House File 3024, brought forward by Representative Bolden from Rochester. She is a Democrat bringing a bill that would allow people to sign up to have the government automatically send them absentee ballots uh, every election. Uh, so they wouldn't have to, uh, wouldn't have to mess around with the uh, the uh, extra uh, the extra effort to actually ask for an absentee ballot, uh, a bill that is very, very wrong in what it needs to do. We need a bill instead of one that makes it uh, easier to cheat in Minnesota. We need bills that make it more difficult to cheat. We've got uh, unbelievable amounts of problems with voter fraud and uh, people voting uh, incorrectly in our state. We need to fix our election system. Uh, this is a wrong directed bill. Instead, uh, I have offered a bill this last session and it's active this session asking for a hearing on it, uh, requiring photo ID in Minnesota, uh, requiring a person to show their driver's license in order to get any sort of ballot in the state like many other states in our country have. Uh, this is one around personal responsibility. Uh, if they are requiring and had required people to show their vaccine card in order to get into a business in our state, uh, Minnesota Democrats can start to join us in bringing security to our elections by supporting photo ID. Uh, we saw last year uh, in, the, in the video that came forward, the video of an individual in Minneapolis that was harvesting ballots, self-incriminating video that he made himself showing America that he had 300 ballots in his car, 300 absentee ballots in his car, many of them unopened. One day's worth of work uh, for this gentleman in Minneapolis uh, to bring forward. And he claimed, and right on video in front of everybody in our country, uh, let people know that uh, every single one of the 300 ballots was properly, according to him, filled out for his brother who was running for the Minneapolis City Council. By the way, his brother won the election in the city of Minneapolis. Uh, I wonder how many days this individual worked. Uh, here's more information for you to check out on the voter fraud that happened in Minneapolis last year. James O'Keefe here in downtown Minneapolis at the scene of the crime. The person you're about to meet, Levon Muhammad, AKA King Levon One, boasts about the hundreds of absentee ballots in his car. This video is one of the first of its kind. A man self-incriminating himself, bragging about all the illegal ballot harvesting that he does. Money is everything. Money is the key in this world. If you ain't got money, you shouldn't. You should not be here, period. You know what I'm saying? Lag is everything. Can't be in the lag bar with that. Blah, 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 dollar you. Ball dollar or hell yeah, either yeah, who got you? That's the so hard thing. You cannot campaign that. You gotta have an investment to campaign. You gotta have a fundraisers. You gotta have what I lead You gotta have the whole team. Numbers don't lie. Numbers don't lie. What would you think? Gary, you go up, you have what has what ups and ballots, sell Kayal, so much you did. Fury, what has what done, so much you did. What would you have, Gary? What would you have? Well, I school with Jamal Osman, we fear it. Fear it. 300 clear months old, Jamal Osman. Yeah. So, the advantage of photo ID for voting is that it makes our elections easy to vote and difficult to cheat. Many states have done this. We need to do this in our state to prevent the type of fraud that we had in Minneapolis last election. And to go in the direction that brings integrity back to our Minnesota elections instead of removing it like Minnesota Democrats continue to want to do. State Representative Steve Draskowski, thanks for joining me. Have a great week.